Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to go over this Robinhood package, which will connect to your Robinhood account, and you'll be able to get quotes, get historical data, place orders, get watch lists, and also get tags from the Robinhood app. So the first thing we need to do is install this package. So I'm just going to require it because I have already installed it. And also install this HTTR package. This will enable us to modify a function in this package so that we can place orders using fractional shares. And I'll show you that later down the script. Also, please ignore this progress bar. I'm running a script in the background and it has nothing to do with this tutorial. The first thing we need to do is establish a connection with your Robinhood app. So you are going to need your username. Just paste your username here and your password here as a character. So I'll go ahead and run this line. So now that we've established a connection, we can use the rest of the functions. So the following lines gets you summaries and account info, but I'm not gonna be running that, but I'll leave it in the script so you can go through it later. Now to get fundamentals, we use this get fundamentals. We pass in our Robinhood connection and here we want fundamentals for Tesla. So I'll go ahead and run this line. So it returns fairly quickly and this is all the information we get. All right, so to get quotes from Robinhood, we use this wrapper. Again, always pass in your Robinhood connection and then the symbols you want. Here we'll test the first one out with a limit output set equal to true. So we see that we get just the basic quote, but if we set that equal to false, we get more information on the tickers we requested. When requesting fundamentals, you could also set this equal to true to include a description and it'll get you the number of employees, where they're located at, the year that they were founded, and a brief description, along with the more basic fundamentals that you are looking for. But if you don't want this description, just set it equal to false and it'll get you the basic fundamentals of that company. All right, so we can also get quotes for cryptocurrencies. Again, passing in our Robinhood connection, and here I'm requesting a quote for Bitcoin. So there you have a basic quote for this cryptocurrency. So to get historical prices, we have to pass in our connection, the ticker we want, the interval, and the span. This is for your time zone. I don't think you need to pass that in, but I wanted to leave that in there because that is an option that you can modify. So here if we run this line, we get hourly intervals for this ticker for the span of a month. So I'll run through a couple more examples. I believe the highest frequency available is five minutes. I tried typing in one minute or just minute for the day and I kept getting errors, but this works just fine. This will return five minute bars for the trading day. So if we run that line, these intervals are five minutes apart and it was for only one day or one trading day. This line will return daily data for a week. We can also get weekly data for a couple months and this will get you monthly data for the current year. So I'll leave these examples in there. I'm not going to run them. The next thing I wanted to go over is you can also place orders. So to place an order, we of course need to pass in our connection, the symbol we want. The order type, currently they have market or limit, the time and force, and here I commented out the options you have. So GFD is good for the day. I want this to get filled immediately. The highest price I am willing to pay per share and the quantity, which has to be a whole number and whether you want to buy or sell this stock. So if I type in 0 0.02 and I run this, I get an error saying that the quantity must be greater than zero and you could only use whole numbers. So if you want to place an order using fractional shares, there's a workaround. So what I did for the workaround was I just typed in the function name and it'll get you what's inside the function. So just copy this. As a side note, you can click on this link I believe the publisher will will be working on a wrapper to handle fractional shares. He mentions that it'll probably be in the next release of this package. So click on this link to see their progress. So I'll go ahead and paste that. And what I want to delete is this condition where the quantity is less than one, it'll stop. So I'll go ahead and delete these lines. Now when you do this and you try to run this function using fractional shares, you'll get an error because 
this function is now part of your environment, not part of the actual Robinhood package. So if you look further down the function, you'll see some functions that we don't have. So I went to this package GitHub and I copied API endpoints, API quote, oh, and API orders. You don't need to go into GitHub to copy these. I'll just leave them in the script. So I'll go ahead and minimize the functions and run them. All right, so now I'm going to try and place an order for Apple. I did try to change this to a limit order, but I got an error saying that limit orders for fractional shares are not currently allowed. So I'll go ahead and place this order and it went through okay. So now we'll check on Robinhood. And since the market is closed, we have a pending order, which is queued up. So if we click on it, we'll see that we are trying to buy Apple at the market price and the quantity in fractional shares. All right, so since I'm not really interested in buying Apple right now, I'm going to go ahead and cancel it using this function here to cancel orders. So inside this order, we need to get this cancel URL to get the proper ID to match up the order. So I'll go ahead and run this line. We'll go to our Robinhood app. And now we see that it is canceled mm -hmm. and you'll probably get an email and a text. So I'll go ahead and set this aside. Another thing we can do is we can get tags. So I'm going to copy this to get the 100 most popular stocks in Robinhood. And I'll go ahead and run this. This may take a while depending on what tag you're using. I think ETF returns about 400 or 500 different ETFs. So now we get a nice list of the 100 most popular stocks or ETFs on the Robinhood app. They also have a nice wrapper to get market hours. So these are the exchanges, when they open, when they close, the extended hours, and if it's currently open. So they have a watch list wrapper where you can add, delete, or get tickers from a watch list. But I think it's currently under repair as I couldn't call one of my watch lists. But hopefully it's working in the next iteration of this package. And once you're done using these wrappers and you want to log out, you can just use log out and pass in your connection. And when you run it, you should see a message, hopefully that says log out successful. And that logs me out of my account. All right, guys. So that was it for this tutorial. I hope it was useful. So I'll work on some scripts so that we can use this package to send orders to. But in the meantime, you should go over this package as they also have other functions to place orders for options and cryptocurrencies as well. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.